This bag of copper started its life out as a downspout about a hundred years ago. Well, let's see what we can make out of it. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Brand new crucible and last little bits of copper added. And I don't know, I'm a little worried. There's a, a, quite a bit of empty space there. Hopefully it all just kind of melts down. Either way, away we go. Shout out to 2Auto, my supplier of Silver Pour Supplies. Okay, a couple of things I notice is that copper, all that copper really shrunk down to whew, not very much at all. And so I'm gonna start adding some more pieces in. Oof. The other thing I noticed is that it's kind of smoky and uh, more smoky than silver. And you can see right there. Let's see how it goes. Will it be different than silver? How so? Let's see. Let's find out. starters it doesn't cool down as fast as silver that's for sure whoa oh. okay mrs c you know what they say go big or go home and uh this is a pretty big oh boy this is heavy it looks heavy here we go let's see what that how that comes out Oh yeah, big time. It's different than silver, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, it's a big bumble. Here we go. Ooh. Oh Lord, wow. Did it burn a hole in the bucket? I don't know, but look at that. All that black stuff came off. Ooh. Oh, it's still warm too. Wow, no, put it in. Right. back in. Check this out. Okay, since I'm not used to working with copper, this is going to be a little bit of a trial and error. Let's see what we can do with this little brush. It's a good start here. You can tell it's making a difference. I'm sure it's making lots of little micro scratches all over this copper, but it's getting that nasty black stuff off. That's the whole thing about experimenting and trying new techniques and one thing I would encourage anybody watching this to do would be uh, not be afraid of trying new stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been pouring silver for several years, never poured an ounce of copper in my life. But um, you know what? I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. And you know, I don't want to be one of those people who have uh, paralysis by overanalysis. I figured, let me just do it and see how it comes out and, uh, you know, learn from my errors and go from there but this little uh, technique with this little brass brush here is working pretty well you know why not just throw everything and put the kitchen sink at it and the old rock tumbler let's throw them both in there oh by the way uh, as i polish up the bottom of this uh, pyramid here uh, just a special shout out to uh, a silver core artist who goes by the uh, handle uh, Silver Punk. Uh, his info will be in the video description. He had a, a video release uh, this morning that was uh, very inspirational. And uh, if you're not familiar with Silver Punk, I really recommend you uh, going to check him out. Uh, he does some really good work and he's one heck of an artist. Now let's polish this bad boy up. Here you go, finished product. What do you think? One of you watching this video is gonna win one of these tea rounds. Keep watching to learn how. Now, I want to really talk to you about an extraordinarily important topic that is how the United States of America is currently making sure that its national security isn't compromised. 
As you know, there are many moving parts from trade to the dollar, and my focus is on materials, the bedrock of our economy. Without them, the U.S. will find it hard to compete with China. That's why President Trump has signed several historic executive orders to protect copper production and mining on U.S. soil. Copper is often called, quote unquote, the new oil. It is at the heart of America's future, and I could not be more bullish about it, especially when it is coupled with gold. Copper demand is surging, while copper supply struggles to keep pace. Now, here's where basic and common sense supply and demand come into my bullish thesis. Global mine production is, is expected to peak in 2026, with a projected 700,000 ton deficit in 2025 alone. Underinvestment in new mines has created a supply crunch. Like I said, this is the time to get bullish and inquisitive on the sector and metal. The U.S.-China trade war has disrupted global copper supply chains. China, which controls 50% of global smelting, faces export challenges. Trump's investigation into copper imports aimed at bolstering national security is the leading edge in a worldwide revolution in mining. This is precisely what the Trump administration thinks about copper. Ludnick, American industries depend on copper, and it should be made in America. No exceptions, no exceptions. And Trump, I have also imposed a 25% tariff on foreign aluminum, copper, lumber, and steel. Because if we don't have it, we don't have a military. Copper should be made in America. It's time for copper to come home. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is hungry for copper. I am pleased to announce that today's video sponsor is Giant Mining, ticker symbol BFGFF. Not only do they have a copper, silver, and gold project, that project's in Nevada. Watch this video to learn more. Electric transportation actually began back in the 1830s, but it took time, technology, and some modern visionaries to really get it moving. And by the end of the 20th century, the lithium-ion battery was starting to fuel the amazing growth of the electric vehicle sector. But in the EV sector, the mineral most in demand isn't predominantly in the battery. It's in the motor and throughout the entire electrical system. Because every vehicle uses copper, and lots of it. And copper plays an increasingly important role in reducing climate change through clean energy technologies. So while the resource sector has shifted focus to service these new realities, the fundamentals remain the same. Prime mining-friendly location, geology, grade, infrastructure, and access to markets are the keys to success. Welcome to Giant Mining Corp and the exciting world of copper, gold, and silver opportunity. Just 120 miles northeast of the Tesla Gigafactory is our Majuba Hill Copper Gold Silver Project. Majuba Hill is an impressive location, and even more so when you consider it has a proven history of successful exploration and production over the years. Today, our interest in Majuba Hill is its exciting discovery potential, and our asset covers over 9,600 acres that produced 2.8 million pounds of copper between 1907 and 1960. And now that copper is increasingly in demand, it's time to take a closer look at what this mountain of metal can bring to market. As is plain to see, shallow oxide mineralization is prominent in many locations on the property. But perhaps most importantly, drill results show an excitingly accessible deep target potential. Along with an extensive history of exploration and production, we're building an equally impressive database of sampling, geophysics, and drill results. Right from the start, we knew our project held promise, and our core samples have identified remarkable high-value mineralization. The exploration upside includes the potential for economic quantities of gold and silver, which are known to exist at Majuba Hill but have not yet been modeled and analyzed. Majuba Hill has been estimated at between 50 million and 100 million tons of copper, with estimated grades ranging from 0.15 to 0.3%, and there's potential for a higher grade zone of between 10 and 20 million tons with grades between 0.4 and 0.8%. And our upcoming plans are simple. We are moving forward to upgrade the exploration target numbers to qualify inferred and indicated values. We aim to confirm the massive copper, gold, and silver potential at the very heart of this outstanding mountain. Nevada is a mining-friendly region where opportunity is never far from your mind. And old stories talk about finding exciting discoveries in some of the small underground mines at Majuba Hill. 
if by now you're interested in finding out more about our exciting opportunity and to meet our expert team, please visit our website at giantminingcorp.com. The world is changing with the electric vehicle revolution and clean energy transition transforming entire market sectors. Now is the time to consider the next wave of copper, gold, and silver opportunity with Giant Mining Corp. Impressive video, don't you think? Now take a look at the stock. What it's doing now, it's only at about 16 cents. Very affordable, perhaps the time to jump in. It's up to you to do your own due diligence. I strongly encourage you to check out their website. There are links down in the video description. And I am not a financial advisor, but I encourage you to check it out. And thank you for watching to this point in the video. At the beginning, I mentioned that somebody would win one of these tea rounds. Simply use the word copper in the comments. And one lucky winner will be chosen. Who will it be? Maybe you. Good luck.